When Henry Ford, the son of Michigan farmers, was 28 years old, he joined the Edison Illumination Company as an engineer. Within two years, he was chief engineer, but he had a restless mind. On the side, he started experimenting with automobiles. It was 1896 when Ford unveiled the quadricycle, a horseless carriage, the first car he ever designed. Cars in the late 1890s were alien. Horse and buggies still ruled the roads, but Ford was bent on changing that. Throughout the rest of the decade, he continued to build on his quadricycle concept. And by the early 1900s, he had enough success to leave the Edison Illumination Company and form his own company. The Ford Motor Company was incorporated in 1903 and set up shop in Detroit. The company's first car was the Model A. It would run through several variations, some just prototypes. Others saw moderate success, like the Model N. But it was the 19th model that would revolutionize life as we know it. On October 1st, 1908, the Ford Motor Company unveiled the Model T. Motorized transportation for the common man was born. The Model T's genius was its combination of low cost and high durability. Its production was intensely systematic, engineered by a highly efficient assembly line, turning auto manufacturing into a fast and inexpensive operation. The initial selling price was $825, not cheap by 1908 standards, but that price would only go down thanks to Ford's mastery of mass production. Sales of the Model T would skyrocket in the ensuing decade. And pretty soon, the streets of America were heavily adorned by its familiar design. Tin Lizzie, as many would call it, would be the car for the first true generation of drivers. Production would last until 1927. And by that time, the Ford Motor Company had sold over 15 million Model Ts and more importantly, laid the groundwork for every car to follow, heralding a mobility that forever changed the world. <laughs> 